beginning teaching without having any previous teaching experience. But then the uh, on-the-job learning was uh, pretty thorough, so the more I taught, the more confident I got with classes. Of course, you're going to have some naughtier students. It can be pretty, pretty hard if those classes are continually back-to-back, -back. but you'll have the times where those naughty students are honestly usually your favorite um, but they'll have really good days and you'll just you'll feel so rewarded when you have those days with them. I think the most challenging part for me as a teacher especially is um, recognizing that all of the students are individuals and everyone has their own preferred way of learning their things they like to learn about and what they like to do in the classroom and it can be challenging to sort of balance those different personalities in the classroom and make sure I'm giving enough attention to each individual student. Working with so many different people um, in many different cultural contexts, we have colleagues that are from other Western countries, colleagues from China, um, colleagues from all over different parts of China, and um, everybody has different roles. And combined, that means a lot of different interests, a lot of different people with different ideas about how things should get done and um, with different understandings of what their relationships are with each other. Um, and so sometimes that can lead to uh, miscommunication and work challenges, um, but I think it also is really rewarding because it allows you to um, sort of expand your mind about um, how to work with other people and it sort of forces you to um, find some middle ground um, in a way that I don't think would be possible at many other uh, jobs or in many other industries. The most challenging part of the job, I think, is dealing with like the angsty teenagers who may not, who may not want to be in your class. Like, very rebellious, I think. Uh, and then the most rewarding is, you know, you're there, teenagers, they take some time to build a relationship and then just being there for a bit, a bit longer than a year and then just trying to build a relationship with these kids, it's very rewarding to see some of them start um, being more participative in class, making a transformation like in, in the classroom environment, really improving their English too because you know if you try to build a relationship with them, show them you care, they'll try.